talk of getting a letter from me does not affect you very badly, but if you intend to reply, you had better send the letter home, as they will readdress it, for I am, like the rest of humanity, here today and gone tomorrow. Remember, this guy's just, he just turned 18. This is the fifth place I have been in my course. I've yet two more to go to before I hit the trail to France. Perhaps you wonder why it is so long a course. Well, the more the science of aviation develops, especially along the lines of war, the more we aviators in the making have to learn. For instance, last summer at this camp, a man was given a commission and sent overseas if he could do straight flying, gentle turns, and landings. Gradually, more was added until now it was required of a pilot before he leaves here at Borden to do all the stunts such as nose spin, in the States it's called tail spin, the loops, still turns, vertical banks, stalling, and all possible higher maneuvers. Then we go to photography, cross-country flying, above cloud flying, formation, reconnaissance, etc. From here we go to Camp Leeside to learn our military cooperation and the directing of artillery from the air. After that we go to Beamsville to learn aerial fighting, and then we're through. Believe me, boy, this is some course. In this way, a pilot or observer is ready to meet me, Fritz, under all conditions. Well, I have been learning to fly for a few weeks now, and it sure is great. My first solo flight was made about four weeks ago. Since then, I've gone through the easy stuff, and I've just finished the stunts. There's no sensation or fun like flying straight. But when one gets his back into doing a loop and stays there for a while, one gets the real fun of it. Since such was my first loop, but I soon got over that. The spinning nose dives are easy, and special turns are hard. These are something like a loop. Your nose are the bus right up, a little on your back, and you kick on full right or left rudder, rudder, and you will come down half upside down, half sideways, and curve under. This brings the bus in the opposite direction to what it was going. It's called a very fast about turn. This, I imagine, would be useful when suddenly you meet a Hun and you are already out of ammunition. A flyer gets some queer and amusing experiences. Nothing in the world can beat this flying around the country, landing at some farmhouse to get some apples. The farmers and the farmer's daughters think it's great when the bus comes down to see them, and we always get a royal meal. While on duel, flying with my instructor, who our engine conked and went dead while flying over a ravine. Of course, this happens. The first thing to do is to keep up the flying speed. If you do not, the bus will stall and drop like a rock. Well, when the engine gave out, my instructor tried to glide to a field across the ravine, but we were too low, and the wing caught the top of a tall tree, swung us around, and down we came on our right side wingtip onto the brook in the bottom of a ravine. My lip was cut a little, and my instructor's knee was cut. Otherwise, we were okay, although the bus was a complete wreck. It took the wrecking gang two days to get the bus under the ravine. Of course, I will not mention this when writing home, for it only made mother worry. <laughs> <laughs> so don't you say anything about it. The crashes are frequent, and two or three occur every day. Few are fatal, although a lot of them, the boys get smashed up. Considering the number of machines that are flying, the number of accidents, not much to worry about. Worst, of course, are the ones caused by fire in the air. This, of course, a man is helpless. And sometimes controls get jammed and the bus will get into a spin from which it will not come out. Happened two days 